The human microbiome is a diverse community of trillions of microorganisms that reside in our gut, and it plays a crucial role in maintaining our overall health. We're going to talk about that. However, the delicate balance of this microbial community or ecosystem can be disrupted, especially after a round of antibiotics. Now, antibiotics, while essential for treating bacterial infections, can also unintentionally harm the beneficial bacteria in our gut. Now, the good news is that there are steps you can take to support and restore your microbiome after completing a course of antibiotics. Hi there, I'm Allison Acera, registered dietitian with MedShadow, and today we're going to highlight five key ways that you can nurture your microbiome post-antibiotic therapy. Now, first, you may be wondering, what is the microbiome and why should I care so much about protecting it? This is a really great question. The microbiome refers to the collection of microorganisms, as we said, fungi, viruses, bacteria that live in and on our bodies. Now, the gut microbiome in particular plays a crucial role in various aspects of our health. It aids in our digestion, making sure we're able to absorb nutrients from our food. It helps support a healthy immune system. Research shows it can help support a healthy weight, and it also can impact our mood. Now, antibiotics, which we may be prescribed to ward off a bacterial infection, say, for example, after a surgery, antibiotics aren't specific. And so it would be terrific if they just killed off those bad bacteria, those bad bugs, but they actually kill off the good ones too. So let's move on now and highlight five key strategies you can use to really nurture your microbiome back to health after antibiotic therapy. Number one, probiotics. This is a way to introduce friendly bacteria back into the gut. These probiotics provide health benefits when consumed in enough amounts. They help replenish the beneficial bacteria that may have been affected by antibiotics. So you can include probiotic-rich foods such as yogurt, kefir, sauerkraut, kimchi, and other fermented foods. Alternatively, consider taking a high-quality probiotic supplement that contains a diverse range of bacterial strains that can really support Prebiotics are number two, and they are fuel for your probiotics or food. Prebiotics are non-digestible fibers that nourish and support the growth of beneficial bacteria in the gut. Foods rich in prebiotics include garlic, onions, leeks, asparagus, whole grains, and resistant starches like cooked and cooled potatoes and rice and unripened or green bananas. Incorporating these into your meals can help create a favorable environment for the recovery and growth of your microbiome. Number three, focusing on a fiber-rich diet. This is a cornerstone for microbial health and a healthy microbiome. So fiber serves as a prebiotic, promoting the growth of beneficial bacteria. So your whole grains, your fruits and vegetables, your legumes, your nuts, excellent sources of fiber. So you want to aim for a diverse range of foods that are really going to provide adequate, you know, variety of different strains. Four, supporting with hydration. So hydration plays a really important role in supporting the microbiome. So water helps transport nutrients to cells, facilitates metabolic processes in the body, and also really can help support those microorganisms in the gut. Number five, avoid unnecessary antibiotic use. Now you wanna preserve the microbial balance as much as possible. Antibiotics are really important for treating bacterial infections, but it's a crucial to use them judiciously and sometimes they're overprescribed. So it's just really important to be working with a healthcare professional when you're thinking about antibiotic therapy to preserve that beneficial balance of bacteria in the gut. Okay, so supporting your microbiome after a round of antibiotics is a proactive step towards maintaining just great health. So incorporating probiotics, prebiotics, fiber-rich foods, staying hydrated, these are great ways you can create an environment that fosters the recovery and growth of those beneficial bacteria in the gut. And um, you know we know a microbiome really is a crucial player in overall health and well-being. So it's a great long-term investment in your health to support it. Thanks so much and see you next time.